good morning students i julie welcomes you all in the evs class of standard 3 today i am going to teach you all lesson 15 of your evs book pottery and this is video number 1 children before i start the lesson i want to ask you all a question can you all tell me what are these and of which material these are made up of yes you all are right these are earthen pots and these are made up of clay now children tell me what is clay clay is a fine grain soil which is made up of decomposition of rocks over millions of years it has a distinctive texture and when it is wet it can be sculpted and molded into different shapes when dry it holds its shapes and does not crumble like sand these are the qualities of clay and the art of making things out of clay is known as pottery children early people were nomads now what are nomads nomads are those people who wander from one place to another in search of food and the early people were nomads they used to wander from one place to another in search of food they did hunting they plucked the fruits from trees and this way they filled their stomach with the passage of time they settled down to practice agriculture they learn how to grow crops and that is the time when they felt the need to create vessels and do you all know why they need to create vessels because they need to store their food grains they need to cook their food and for those things they need vessels and this way the pottery came into existence in the beginning the early humans made pots by simply kneading the clay and shaping it with their hands they did this by pinching the ball of clay between their fingers and thumbs just like this they roll the clay into long coil and put rings of clay one on top of another this was called coiling then the pots were baked in the fire to make them strong and this process is known as firing children making pots by pinching clay was not an easy task and it was very time taking but making pots become easier after the invention of potter's wheel over the years it has become modern and better and nowadays electric wheels are also available which can produce better clay pots and in very short time children making of pots include many steps the very first step is cleaning the clay the potters clean the clay by separating all the stone particles from the clay then after they knead them into a dough just like your mother make the dough a flour in the same way potters knead clay into dough then after 
the dough is put on the potter's wheel and is rotated fast for some time. The potter gives shape to the rotating dough. When the vessel is shaped, it is separated from the wheel with a thin wire, just like this. Then the pot is dried in the sun and then put into the fire to make them strong. Children, the special oven where pots are fired is called a kiln. After baking the pots in the special oven called kiln, the glazing of pots is done to make them smooth and waterproof. And lastly, the pots are decorated with beautiful designs. Now it is ready to use by us in our homes. Children, in the beginning of the civilization, all of the household utensils, vessels and decorations were made of clay. But today, clay is mainly used for sculpting and creating items that range from home decor to art pieces. Even though time has changed, clay pottery remains useful, functional and beautiful. Today also people use earthen pots, matkas or gharas to keep water cool. Women cook food in handis, tea at stations or bus stands is served in earthen pots called kulhar. We decorate our homes with earthen lamps or diyas in festivals just like Diwali. Our idols of gods, dolls, flower vases are also made from clay. And you know a musical instrument called ghatam is also made from clay only. This way we can say that Yes, we become advanced and modern, but pottery plays an important role in our lives. Thank you.